Backstage here in Toronto at UFC 206. He's a male mech. How are you feeling right now? A little tired? I'm a little tired. Just a little. <laughs> but uh, I managed to pull it off. I managed to get my win. I managed to get my dream come through. It feels amazing. Was Jordan as tough as you thought he would be? Oh, yeah. He was definitely as tough. Um, I was surprised. I rocked him uh, a couple of times. I almost um, dropped him. So um, I, got, I pushed pretty hard. I'm a wacky. You know, we, we got good power in my hands. And, uh, like I said to Joe Rogan, I never shooting for a uh, takedown in my whole career. Uh, I, I do most of my work with my hands, but uh, I knew that coming into this fight, I had to work side more. We mix it up with the kicks and takedowns, and, and, and I managed to pull it off. Yeah, very well-rounded performance. You made a big statement here on the pay-per-view. Um, talk to me about how much that rib injury affected your performance and really your cardio, because that can play a role there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I felt it uh, as as we were scrambling. He, he went for a takedown. I was scrambling to get up, and in that transition, I, I sprinted it, and it was wincing in pain and couldn't really get up. Uh, in between the rounds, I was telling my corner, I uh, fucked up my, my thing, and um, you know, it, it's not much to do about it. But uh, so so we just fought through it. Uh, hope that he wouldn't kick me in the body or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, you certainly fought through it and got that victory. Uh, I want to talk about your beard. How stressful was that? Oh, that was. Uh, <laughs> they, they didn't tell me until uh, before, just before the weigh-in that I needed to, to cut it, so I cut it, and I uh, even missed a little there. Oh no! <laughs> so I did it myself, but you know I still got something left there. I mean, if, I, if my beard was stronger, then I would fight a lot better. <laughs> All right, maybe your next fight you'll be able to do that. Any idea who, where, when you'd like to return? You know, I know they. Uh, I heard something about Europe somewhere. And it would be amazing to fight in Europe because that's so close to my, my hometown and to get even more supporters over there. Well, Hall Army is so strong and it uh, really means the world to me that they support me. So somewhere in Europe against a uh, top 10 guy or maybe Mickey Gall or Sage Northcutt or if, if CM Punk is still alive, I would love to fight one of those. Excellent. Hey, we would love to see those matchups. Congratulations on a very successful debut. Thanks a lot. Thank you.